Hi, it's Julala here and I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about pathfinding. Now, lots of people think, and I was one of them for a very long time, that you can't use pathfinding on platforms um, and skyboxes. And in the background here, you can see that the golden stag is doing what I kind of would expect pathfinding objects to do uh, in a, on a platform, which is not move forward. So they'll still be animated, but they're not actually moving. Um, but actually, we can pretty much make any um, sort of surface a walkable surface for pathfinding. Um, and also, I've put here a little uh, cube, which is my um, virtual tree, if you like. Um, quite often, pathfinding stuff gets stuck in trees and bumps into things. And what's really important to remember, when things are moving around on your region, when they collide with other things, that's what causes region lag. OK, so these um, wanderers are very low lag scripted, but if they keep bumping into things, they are going to cause um, region lag. So there are some tricks that we can do also to help with reducing collision and also reducing the chance of them getting stuck in trees and things. So the first thing I want to show you is um, that if we go to the build menu, I'm using Firestorm, but it's very much the same in the Second Life Viewer as well. And we go to region objects. Now I've called this platform platform, which is highly original. And we can see that it's actually um, marked as a movable obstacle. And I'm going to change that to walkable and apply changes. Now, it's not enough just to do that. OK, you can see he's still very static. Uh, we need to rebake that. So you'll see that there's a little exclamation mark up here next to the little squiggly arrow. You click that and then press rebake. And wait for it to do that. And then you can now start to see that the the stag has changed. Now, what I do find is that you might need to re-res um, the stag. Let's see if he behaves, um, but we might need to re-res him. Of course, there is a, uh, an object in front of him. There he goes. OK, so he's now walking on the platform. OK, now this object in the middle at the moment um, I called it tree. We'll go back to the pathfinding menu and go to region objects and put in tree. And we can see here that it's a static obstacle, OK, um, which means that if he um, if he walks into it, he's going to um, collide with it and then avoid it, OK, or, or go over it. And, and that, that like I say, can cause some region lag if you're having lots of collisions. Um, so what we can do is actually change this to exclusion volume, OK, which um, will make it um, or it might make it phantom. Um, but we also need to again update the pathfinding. And now the um, objects in the middle um, should be excluded as an object um, so he will walk straight through it which can be really useful if you you've put him in a forest or something um, to, do, to do that to your uh, trees and things so there we go just a really quick simple video on how to make your skyboxes and platforms uh, pathfinder pathfinding ready